Lucky here. It's the Pat and JT Podcast. Pat and JT Podcast. New favorite thing <laughs> is letting Google pronounce words for you and sentences yes. for you. Uh, since uh, you was at yesterday's podcast, your favorite word. The uh, best fun. word. Best word, yeah, not you your know, favorite, your best did I, word. Did I ever come back and, and finish that? The, we, we posted it's the- on our, It's on our Facebook okay. page. Yeah, when you go to the Facebook page, uh, somebody had asked and we forgot to post it, and my apologies because I had it, uh, was the complete story. And the story was actually written like 10 years ago. Maybe more. Anyway, it was, it was somebody who did this little blog about the best word, and they put together the tournament brackets and did every letter had a bracket. We put up the whole thing so you can see every letter's brackets. And the grand prize winning best word was diphthong. Yep, and we went through that yesterday. We did because we were like wondering yes. if that wasn't a good word to have, but we didn't do the D bracket, so we didn't know that it was in the competition. That's a good thing. And the F so, word hung on there for a while. The F word hung so in a few rounds. The link is on, uh, just <laughs> click on our post from uh, the previous episode and the link's right there. You You'll can't see miss it. it. Somebody asked about it. Um, and it's ironically enough at 402-403-9478, Jennifer mm-hmm. texted and said, best word for her, learned it in sixth grade is rendezvous. She Ooh. Loves, that's her favorite word. But after listening to today's show, nozzle is a close second. <laughs> <laughs> Love listening and playing Tune Blast with you guys. Have a great week. Thanks, Jennifer. We appreciate that. Uh, no doubt. Um, let's see. No name. Let me scroll up to another one. Uh, no, no name. That's okay. That's okay. Um, it says, uh, no, no. Oh, it's Jessica. Jessica. Favorite word? Facetious. I like that word, too. I like that, too. Facetious is definitely. And uh, let's see. No. <laughs> great story about Josh Brolin, she said. But. What? She's going to wait for oh, the next she, episode. Oh. oh, no, not fair. Wait, I'm all cut up. I mean, I have to wait till tomorrow. Yep. <laughs> well, I mean, in yesterday time you did. Oh, uh, that's right. I forgot mm-hmm. that we mentioned that a couple episodes ago, didn't yep, we? Yeah, that's right. Okay, well, we'll, we'll go there. Uh, okay, just hold on. Jill says at 402-403-9478, we love getting your text, by the way, uh, her best word, the best word for her, wonky. <laughs> it amuses me that people I work with have started saying it. Loves it. Uh, and the Have comment, you ever, real quick, mm-hmm. does it, you notice that when you say something that is completely new or, or something that's irregular, how some people latch on, some people yeah. grab it. I'm, and, a, and they, I'm, a, I'm a latcher. I'll latch on. And they don't even on. notice they did it. You know, it's just mm-hmm. like something that just falls right into, it just falls into place and it just moves on. Yeah. I'm a mirror when I'm around somebody, I'll, not even long enough, but if I, if I, <laughs> they do something that I think is good or, or I like, I'm yeah. a mirror follower. Also known as stealing. Or we're caught, you're 100%. <laughs> 100%. That's all right. Uh, she said in the comment on your conversation about not watching TV live, my my uh, spousal unit will record a game on TV, actually go to the game, and then watch the recording on TV the next day. So weird. Now, that's not that weird. If you're going to the game, and you because I like to listen to what the commentators say on TV, yeah. on national TV. So if I'm at the game, Honestly, I like going back and watching it and see what they say, especially if it was a garbage game, delete. Right. I can, I can honestly, I kind of, I kind of see the good in that. Because you're right, because being there in the moment at the game, and I've always said, I just, I'd rather sit in my comfy chair and For watch sure. whatever it is in, in perfect weather in my living room than, and, and also no socks and sweatpants, um, than to go. But if you, if you like that game atmosphere, that's one thing, but you're right, because I miss the, the stuff that's, Stuff that said uh, different angles, you're yeah. gonna see different places. So that, I, I, that's, better that's view. cool. So you're still yeah. seeing the game okay, live. But, I get it, I get um, it. And then one more here, Kristen. She texted in a screenshot of her level on Toon Blast. Yeah. Um, she says, thanks for the addiction. This level is scary as hell. It's She's on level 666. Oh. <laughs> thanks, Kristen. Very we good. Appreciate, appreciate your texts. You guys, you guys are doing great. We had another great weekend. And we just, it's, everybody's just banding together and helping each other out. That's right. I love it. I love it. And everybody's making, everybody's improving. Everybody's participating. All you can ask for is improvement. It's all going great. Josh Brolin. And I forgot that we t- mentioned Josh Brolin. Right? Yeah. I, and I said, I'm not going to go there right now. Okay, we're going to go there. <laughs> First, I'm going to ask, have you ever heard of, uh, I think you say it, peren- per- perineum? Per- perineum? Sunning. Perineum. Perineum? Perineum? I don't perineum know. Sunning. Per- How do you, you know spell what? it? P-E-R-I-N-E-U-M. Perineum. Perineum. Okay. Perineum. Thank you, Google lady. <laughs> Did it again. Perineum. That that was very smooth. <laughs> Do you know what that is? 
You, um, did you have the definition up in front of you to give us the exact? Bre- I do, but I, perineum. I believe Google a lot of the time, but I've never heard this. Okay. Called perineum. It perineum. is the area between the anus and the scrotus maximus, or the vulva titus. It's that area, and that is not the perineum. It's not how. It's the taint. taint. Yes. <laughs> Taint. And of course, they have a guy saying it. <laughs> so the very educated, the very between the anus okay, and the so scrotum revolva is the- Perineum. No, Wait, it's not. What is it, fella? Taint. <laughs> we may need to put a warning on this at the beginning. Why? I'm it's all medical. Saying, it's all Google. Oh, like you, because you all, you're all for the proper words. I am. Um, but just, just so you know, if you listen with your kids. <laughs> so what? So then what, what do you say? It's between the, the, the hoop and the seeds? Okay. What do you say? Oh, my God. <laughs> Anyway, I think taint. we know. I think we know what we're talking taint about. Taint the hoop, taint the seeds. Okay. Taint. Oh my God. Anyway, uh, thanks to an Instagram user by the name of Metaphysical Megan, um, she incorporated this practice into her daily rising routine. So in the mornings, she would sun her bum and her yoni. I'm not even going to go there. How do you spell yoni? Y O N I. Anyway, uh, in accordance with an ancient Taoist practice. And they say there are benefits to catching some rays where yoni. the sun, yoni, yoni, where the sun don't shine. There's a reason the sun don't shine there. I'm just going to say. Well, yeah. But okay. are there benefits to it, it there's shining probably, there? I think there's, I think the things were made the way they were made on purpose. Guarantee that, that there are the, some things that are always in the shade. 100% correct. <laughs> that is 100% correct. And they should be. I don't think that it's bad necessarily if you do sun your taint, but I think it wasn't built that way. And I I, maybe either. absorption is quicker because the skin is dinner, different and whiter. Yeah. Josh Brolin did this. I'm not, let me finish her poster real quick because she writes benefits of catching some rays, according to metaphysical Megan, include deeper sleep, better focus, uh, reduced leakage of life force energy. That's what that stuff is. And... Bring, <laughs> bringing solar energy from the sun into the organs within the body, which strengthens the organs. It's very cool, very plausible, which is presumably why Josh Brolin, Academy Award winning nominated actor, No Country for Old Men, Hail Caesar, so many others, why he would think I should give this a try. Then after seeing the results for himself, he's a little less than delighted. <laughs> He posted. <laughs> what if you burn your perineum? <laughs> That's what he did. Oh, he did? Yes, oh, he man. Did. He said he tried the sunning craze that he's been hearing about. It is my suggestion, all caps, do not do it as long as I did. It's crazy burned, and I was going to spend the day shopping with family, and instead I'm icing and using aloe and burn creams because of the severity of the pain. I don't know who the bleepity bleep bleep thought of this stupid bleepity bleep bleep, but you bleep and bleep bleep nonetheless, thanks for nothing. Wow. Seriously, hashtag Black Hole Friday. Oh, <laughs> Black Hole. <laughs> How long did he, did he sun hashtag it? Hashtag Santa Monica Fire Department. How long did he sun for? He sun didn't it for? say how long he did. I mean, did. it had to be for a significant time. You don't get burned. Well, how, I mean, it's 10 or 15 minutes. It's if, not like you can stay in place that, I mean, how? The pictures of this is, are absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, his experience, it seems that sunning this area is a wellness practice that lands in a sort of ill-defined middle ground. <laughs> Otherwise known as the taint. Taint legitimate medical practice. Right. Taint a harmless placebo either, he writes. There ought to be a word for that. Just take know. vitamin D, man. So- <laughs> Just take vitamin D. Who on earth would think that, that, that that's that was, a good idea? Well, who, would th- who would come up with that first? Well, it was, like I said, ancient. it's an ancient practice. I have never seen a cave drawing on that. <laughs> Ever, 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 ever. <laughs> ever. Maybe they just haven't shown them to us yet. Because there are some cave drawings that they don't show on the Discovery Channel. Yeah, they were dirty birds back right? in the caves. Yeah. I'm just saying that we don't see all the cave drawings when you're watching the documentaries. That's, that's true. They, so there yeah. may be a cave drawing wow. of just that. So there are a lot of People things People in out Hollywood, there. man, are just weird. You you get to a certain point of either, whether a success, your head, you, you, you lose your mind, you get so much right? money, and you just start going all these crazy wonky Remember, ways. 
Gwyneth Paltrow. Yeah. When she was steaming things that yeah. the sun don't shine on. And while she was actually steaming her. Yoni. Yeah. <laughs> yes, she was. Yes, yeah, she was. Coogler Vision. Proud supporter, maybe. Hopefully they're a proud supporter <laughs> of our Pat and JT podcast, but they are one nonetheless. They are, and we're proud to have them as That's a supporter. Don't true. want to necessarily put words in their mouth. That's true. Uh, but what we would like to do is take your glasses off. How about that? You can do that. Uh, you realize what's coming up, don't you? Not just Christmas, but the New Year's, and then we're going to be in what year? 2020. 2020 this vision. This is like, our, my golden birthday was the 14th of, was, <laughs> uh, would it be uh, when I was 14? So this right? would be their golden year, 2020 is, for Kugler Vision. This is it for Kugler Vision. We're yeah. in the year of 2020. So now, prior to Christmas, as we sit, is the perfect time to make your move. Uh, there are several reasons. We're going to go down the list for you. Let's start off with just having glasses in general in the winter. Uh, fogging up, going from outside to inside. Miserable. When you have some hot cocoa, fogging up, or hot coffee, fogging up. Your contacts are so much drier in the winter. And that's miserable. Everything's as well. dry in the winter, especially your eyes. Right? Yeah. So, this would be a great time to make that appointment. Get that consultation in there and find out what it is that can be done to correct your vision so you can toss the glasses or toss, this con- or toss the contacts. And how about going into 2020, seeing as close to 2020 as you possibly can? Wouldn't that be awesome? That'd what be a great pretty gift. That would be fantastic, right? Oh, an amazing gift. That would be an awesome gift. Plus, guys, before the end of the year, don't forget if you have. Either account, either the FSA or HSA, which is the flexible spending or the, I think it's a health spending account, right? Um, either one, if you if you save for things like this and you're like, what am I going to spend this on? I've saved up some money. You've got some that's in there. They have the promotion that they're doing right now. They're giving you two times, two times the dollars. That doesn't, and this is the right? time of year when you look at that and you're thinking, I, this money's good. You lo- use, you, it use it or it lose, it. lose it. Yeah, that's so it. don't lose it. And especially if they're going to double it. Double it. My gosh, yes, take advantage of that. And time is running out. We know that the calendar says so, but not only that, things get hectic because people have those FSA and HSA accounts and they're all of a sudden wanting to cash them in. And so spots are limited. So do it. Just get that appointment. Get online. They have a scheduler right online. And not only that, after you make that appointment, they're going to ask you a few questions so they know a little bit about you. One of the questions is, where did you hear about Kugler Vision? You're hearing it right now on the Pat and JT podcast. But Please Pat let JT them podcast, know. It, yeah, it helps them. It helps us. It helps us. It, it really does you. because we want them to know that you're our listener um, and that you've been with us. And believe me, they will take really good care of you. Yeah, they do. Mm-hmm. So kuglervision.com. There are a lot of other things out there. There's actually a list, uh, a short list of things that people do that are they were they are proposed as healthy but they aren't actually healthy and and that's what a lot that's where a lot of this comes from it's like somebody's always looking for that well we've talked about it before you know that that magic whatever it is once in a lifetime wow we found the key finally got it right um some of the things, and some of these more are more obvious than others. Um, like they say, like always having low fat or fat free salad dressing. You don't really need to do that because the oils are good for you in moderation. Uh, slathering on sunscreen. Got to be careful what's in the sunscreen. The chemicals. Sure. If you put too much on, and, and you're supposed to put it on every day. I have never done that. Never. That's probably worse than putting it on. Imagine um, buying all natural groceries because they aren't all natural. You know that. Um, right. High fructose corn syrup. Uh, eating several smaller meals a day, arguably, they say, is not healthier for you. They said there's no proof in that. So it's not saying that it's not healthy for you, but not saying that it is. So there's okay. no proof that it actually gives you any benefit. Like they, they did the, the blind test where they had one, you know, one group eating three large meals, one eating six small meals. No difference as far as... To kind of whatever blood levels, as far as weight loss, I'm a grazer, stuff. and I'd rather I would rather just and not even like I've gained more weight in the last well since July since moving into the house, yeah. and then it's been with this full time where we've had meals at night. Oh, like having meals, I've gained more weight because I would rather just do just you, snack. Do you I just still, pick. okay. Let me ask you this. See, this is my problem: is that when I get around food where you have regular meals, I, that doesn't mean I eliminate grazing. Oh, no, that's a problem. I'm still doing my regular stuff. That's a problem. And I'm layering in the new practice. A little <laughs> bonus content of dinner. <laughs> yeah, 100%. That's exactly why. Uh, drinking bottled water instead of tap. I'm sorry, there's no amount of research that can convince me otherwise. I drink bottled water or filtered, filtered water. I just can't, for some reason, drinking out of the tap is just... Yeah, I don't mind. I do it. I don't care. I'll do whatever. I could in the country. You know, in the country is one thing, well water. I don't know why well water is well water. Yeah, well. hashtag Monsanto. <laughs> 
I lived uphill from them. Uh, yeah. Well. But, um, <laughs> but they said that bottled water is not healthier than what comes out of your faucet. The FDA oversees bottled water. The EPA reviews tap. Both use similar safety standards, but packaged products, you don't always know what you're doing. Actually, getting, the, plas- so. yeah, the plastic stuff, it's not good to be drinking out of uh, plastic and bottles. And that I do agree with that. So yeah, I, mean, I'm, I have the filter. I have one at home, and I have one here at work. Yeah. That was one of the first things I think I did when we moved into our first office. Yep. And I'm I like, what is that? Because I'm not drinking that nasty tap. <laughs> My gosh. You, I know, like taking vitamin C to get rid of a cold. I do, I do it too. Uh, yeah. When I start feeling yucky, yeah. I, start, I extra take extra vitamin C, but if I'm... Uh, feeling like maybe coming on. Yeah. yeah. High doses. They said that they, uh, a large review found that there's no consistent evidence that taking vitamin C after symptoms show up that help you get faster, get, get well faster, get better faster. But it is, I think for some people it's one of those mind over matter things. Yeah. Plus if placebo, whatever if it works, it works. So there's no reason to take vitamin C is called prevention. You just like to take them cause it's it just good. It just tastes, it does taste good. I'll feel um, like I'm doing something. Another one for you. Cleaning your ears. Love it. I do too. Best feeling in the absolute world. This is earwax isn't a bad thing. I know it's not a bad thing. And I know it's a terrible, it's not a very good thing to clean your own ears. I know it's dangerous. Not with the Q-tips. What else is I a Q-tip for? Uh, you know what? I mean. What? I mean, taint. I know there's. <laughs> that, has no, that has no bearing on this conversation. Cleaning your. Perineum. No. 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 <laughs> I, I mean, don't know. I know there are like odd uses for a Q-tip, but I, you know, like, uh, like if you smudge your mascara, you can use a Q-tip to clean that little area up or there's I don't a, know, what else would you, your I belly button? Even, Do you use it for your belly button? No, pinky. Oh. You don't use that. Um, my favorite thing in the belly button is oh, my wife has a shampoo with a nozzle on it with a long little thing and I stick it deep in there then squirt it in there. Are deep. you kidding me? Yeah. Breaking news, babe. Sorry. <laughs> I've only done that a couple of times because it gets it in there deep. <laughs> but Q-tips, I have no idea what Q-tips. How do you get it out of there? The soap? Yes. Why well, just scrub it and rinse it out? Do you like have a spray that you can move like a yeah. handheld oh, yeah, sprayer? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Of course you do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know what a Q-tip. If, I have no clue what a Q-tip would be used for other than to get stuff out of your ears. I have no idea. It says never stick anything in the ear canal. I know. It's bad. It's terrible. Push and, the I've, wax and I've gone in a little bit too deep and I've hit something that it's hurt. And I yeah. know that. But man, you hit that spot. It's true. It's great. That's why the dog's leg goes bum, 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 That's bum, right. <laughs> That's 100% right. Uh, a couple other things. You avoid all carbs. Carbs are not all bad. They get a bad rap because some don't burn off and they get stored as fat. But carbs are a great source of energy. They're just not all created equal. Not all carbs are bad. Okay. Uh, Just the ones in snacks. Um, Apple cider vinegar is another one. I see that every once in a while on some of the homeopathic med, you know, websites and things. And so when it comes to your gut health and pH balance and it's been researched for health benefits, but it's not necessarily that it's bad. But mad, maybe more so how you consume it, because most commonly people just drink the shots, like the ACV, ACV oh, yeah. shots, um, but can do more harm than good. Just going to throw that out there. Maybe look up, do a little bit of research before you do. Following ketogenic diet, even if your doctor didn't tell you to. That's another one they throw out there. They said, actually, ketogenic diet, carb restrictive. We know that first off. Um, and it can be, it, it's actually been proven to control seizures in people with epilepsy. Oh, Yeah. Yeah, but for the rest of us, he said, eh, the long-lasting benefits side of it is still kind of like, they're still under the microscope on that. Yeah. You know, trying to figure out, th- there's no absolute proof at this point that there's long-lasting benefits. So, kind of, you know. It's like one of those diets to me, and it's for medical reasons, if there's uh-huh. a reason why you need to, then man, all for it, and it works, if it works for you. But people that do it just to lose weight and they to keep their weight down and be healthier, it seems... It's great if they can do it, but it just seems like a short-term solution because I it seems it would restrictive, seem almost impossible to stick yeah. to that as a life lifelong. I think that as long as you incorporate carbs that are coming from vegetables, that kind of thing, yeah. you know, incorporate some good carbs. I don't think restricting your just the numbers, you know, at low carbs is your goal. It should be where the carbs are coming from. I would go with that. And then finally, the one that just destroys me is filling up on healthy smoothies. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of rough. <laughs> What's the name of the place that I was going? Smoothie King? No. Uh, Red Mango? No. no. Um, yeah, I know. They had the bench press? <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, mm, 
Yeah, whatever. I know what you're talking about. And there's nothing about it. This well, it's <laughs> no. not horrible, but it's like 500 calories. Yeah, in a large. Right. And, and, I mean, it's, it's a lot of protein. It's delicious, but there's no way that something that delicious is actually healthy for you. Why is that? <laughs> it's rude. Why is that? It's yeah. Rude. So smoothies and smoothie bowls. So just some things to look out for, and then of course we circle back to Josh Brolin. Perineum. And we learned a new word today. Perineum. Actually, you learned a couple, didn't you? No, I've known this one. Taint. Since college. Not that one. This one. Yoni. And if you do, as a matter of fact, mm-hmm. Google. Yoni. There are pictures. And not. I'm not talking about, there's cave drawing pictures of a yoni. Oh, okay. Yoni. And I don't know what. Not, not like well, photographs. No, I, I, I haven't clicked on like images. I'm sure there are. Oh, I'm sure I'm saying don't, I don't recommend Googling it. I can't it. believe you haven't clicked on it. But I just. Yoni. You know, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there. So there are, were some cave drawings of that. If you do see the pictures of the perineum sunning, you'll know that's what it is. Yes, you have the unmistakable, <laughs> unmistakable. <laughs> you know what that is. Oh my god! So there's the Josh Brolin follow up. Who if, asked for that? If uh, the, uh, I don't, I don't remember who it was. It so was we uh, had it in yeah. one of the text messages today. Yes. Somebody was wanting to know. Where the Josh Brolin so follow up was. So if you want to address your emails or your text messages to anybody or your notices, I would say Jessica is probably the bright person. <laughs> way Jessica. to go, Jessica. Nice job, Jessica. Perineum. Yeah, way to go. Thank you. <laughs> so if you've ever assunned your perineum, we'd like to take that text 402 403. It's not something you can do that's accidentally. The wrong one. That's the beginning of our show. Oh, wow. What there the heck? Yeah, 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 if you have ever done that, it's not something you do on accident. Oops, I accidentally sunned my oh. perineum. Yeah, man, that burns. 402-403-9478. Thanks for listening. Pat and JT Podcast. A Parkville Media Production.